Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And let's talk about the Space Daddy drama. You're here to talk I about here. Space Daddy. Yeah, I don't like talking about Space Daddy. I have to but... watch what I say. I have to watch what I say. We're going to talk about Space Daddy, Elon Musk, and now he's he's not happy with the uh, the hose of data that he got, mm -hmm. and he wants to renegotiate the price. Uh, this is probably what this is all about. Yeah. Renegotiate because like. Twitter is not worth. A oh, everybody! Of everybody dollar. knew that was way too high, and that the data that 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 low percentage fake accounts was so shit. It was ridiculous and not true. And since he made the offer, let's be honest, tech stocks have crumbled. So he's probably looking at too like that is like twice as much as this shit's it's worth. It's now worth, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna talk about this. Uh, this just kind of broke yesterday, I guess, yesterday. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 271,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk about Twitter, and the reason we're talking about Twitter is Twitter is, again, ground zero for a lot of the drama that we see in pop culture, ground zero for the media smearing fans, uh, ground zero for cancel culture, and Elon Musk is gonna uh, supposedly, possibly, maybe buy the platform. Mm -hmm. He's been trying to buy the platform, but he's concerned that a lot of Twitter users are fake, which anybody that uses Twitter- Can tell you that. Can tell you that. Um, I like this picture of him. I'm waiting for him to ask for the grape coupon. Yeah, he needs a monocle or something. Oh my God. Yes, dude, you need a monocle. Shave his head, put a monocle. You don't have to shave his head, just give him a monocle. Just give him a monocle. Missed opportunity there, Elon. Richest man in the world. Richest man in the world. Uh, anyway, this is coming from, where is this coming from? Uh, insider, Elon Musk sends lawyers letters claiming that Twitter didn't provide enough data to analyze I'm for sure bots. I'm sure didn't. Twitter gave him even more user data. Elon Musk continues to push Twitter on user data in order to analyze it for bots or automated accounts. They said they turned the hose on him. They turned the fire hose on. They gave him everything. And he said, nah, you didn't give me enough. He sent another letter to the company last week. Insider has learned claiming what had been shared was insufficient. Twitter has been bending over backwards to comply with Musk's demands. Who said? Twitter. One person. <laughs> one person said that. Must be true. <laughs> So one person said that must be true. Twitter has given Elon Musk more user data after he complained last week that the large historical database he had received wasn't enough. Insider has learned from one person. Well, it took him forever to give him that. So, you know, it's possible that they tried to to, to massage the data. I'm just saying. I I, I do believe that they have. Because they. I, I, I'll be honest. I think Twitter has been lying to shareholders for years. What's we've been saying? And they keep saying that yes. they have all these new subscribers and their numbers keep going up. And I'm like, well, that's easy to fake. And that's all they do is fake the shit. When was the last time a regular person on the street said, hey, here's my Twitter handle? They did before? They they don't. I, I, no, because I've never seen anybody do that. No, they never have. That's what I'm saying. Like, Twitter is for journalists and celebrities and media outlets and, uh, you know, people that do art, whatever, well, internet. Fair, I don't go on the street and random people and say, here's my Instagram handle no, or here's my Facebook. But like if I get business cards or whatever from people, it'll oh, have yeah, their yeah. Facebook and their Instagram You're and their right. TikTok. So, sometimes that's Twitter, but not very, very seldom. Or if it is, it's like a brand account that just, you know, auto posts that's true. shit. That's Grandma's true. not on Twitter. Real people don't use Twitter. So does it surprise? Because they're like, we've got all these users. And I'm like, who? Who's using Twitter? Right. And then you, then you have, there's definitely a lot of fake accounts. When oh, I yeah. did, I used to do the, the number research for blogs and stuff to see, you know, competitors' accounts and, and crossover. And I found a lot of accounts, including the Disney official account, that had a bunch of, of people that were following it that were like obviously from farms mm -hmm. where they might, they might follow like 20,000 people and all I do is retweet people and have like two followers themselves. Yeah. And it, all it was was to ret ret retweet or promote events for these companies. Disney had a shit ton of those on it. Oh, yeah. So they said that um, this is the last hurdle for Musk, but he said he wants to potentially renegotiate. Well, yeah, because he said if more than 5% of your users are fake, provable fake. No, it's fake, definitely more than 5%. I think we're looking, you can add a zero to that. And uh, maybe, I think it's higher. I am wondering. But they, wondering. they tried to argue that. I think it was like, you know, experts at the research said at least it was like 30% at least. I I think it was like 30%. Maybe it was 20 something. But I, I would think it's up, upwards of 50%. So Musk's complaint was lodged officially on Friday when his lawyer sent Twitter's board a letter claiming the many terabytes of data uh, was not the full firehose he expected to receive. 
Musk was unhappy with the historical data because his team was unable to perform its own test for inauthentic accounts. Oh, okay, that's the massage yep. of data. Twitter earlier this week gave access to the new data, including real-time API information to Musk's team, who now believe they are able to conduct their own analysis. Yeah, you can't just say, here's the stuff you can't, with no information, so you can't analyze it. Here, we just put all of Twitter on a hard drive. Here you go. Yeah. You know. Just, yeah, um, that's, that's it, honest, I swear. If Twitter has been massaging data for years, as people think they have, then they, they probably – what you're getting is probably scrubbed or, you know, well, very nebulous anyway. Well, they don't want to come out because what's going to happen with shareholders if they find out that they've been investing in a company that's lied about the data this whole time? So, yeah, because – If that's if that's true. Well, they even say they don't, uh, you know, look at their users in the same way that, like, Facebook does. They're like, these are monetizable users, monetizable users. Mm -hmm. Basically – Real people who are looking at ads or bots that are looking at ads, which is actually going to open them up to class action lawsuit right. if advertisers have spent millions of dollars on advertising. To bots. To bots. So this this could potentially blow up into a major cluster fuck for Twitter. And then it's going to be like, well, this company is not worth much of anything. Well, it's even fair, you know, all, all things considered, it wouldn't be worth as much, not because of this, but because you said the tech company, tech stocks have crashed. Yeah. In general, it wouldn't be worth that much. Yep. Uh, Twitter referred to referred Insider to an earlier statement on the company's dealings with Musk. Twitter has and will continue to cooperatively share information. With so them. I did give them the information now. Yes, now. Uh, I think it was like, well, here you go. And he's like, that's not good enough. And the more that Twitter stalls on this, the, the the more the tech stocks crash and the value, it gets devalued. Right. Uh, reps for Musk did not respond to a request for comment. Uh, some inside the company see the lawyer's letters as just the latest attempt to paint Twitter as non-compliant with his request. Well, it sounds like they weren't. They didn't give him yeah. access, access to data they could actually, you know, study. I can't imagine Twitter being incredibly compliant. Did you see what their employees were saying when Musk addressed them in an all-hands mm -hmm. meeting about their new potential boss. Like I can't imagine anybody in the company uh, trying to be passive aggressive with Elon oh, Musk. Never. That, never. Would never happen. that would never happen. But and the th fact that if it comes out that they lied all this year, they're going to be in big trouble. Yep. Uh, inside Twitter, Musk's reaction is seen as a response to external market headwinds. He had earlier agreed to buy it for fifty-four twenty a share, and uh, yeah, now it's like thirty-nine dollars a share, and. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. I mean, they said they remain committed to the acquisition because what else are they going to do? If Twitter, at this point, if Twitter was left to its own devices and they didn't have an offer from Musk, uh, chances are that they would get, uh, you know, bought by somebody else at a much cheaper price mm -hmm. or just it would go. They wouldn't up. even get it. Would, it would crash first and then someone could come in and take it really cheap. Yeah. So it's – and here's the thing. I don't know how quickly Musk can work through. People say, well, Musk doesn't have the ability. It's like, no, dumbasses. This is the richest man in the world who's sending people to space and building uh, energy-efficient cars. He's not sitting on his, his laptop himself going through all your tweets. No. <laughs> I guarantee you he's got a bunch of people who are probably, if I had to guess, your potential replacements – your potential replace his potential mm -hmm. replacement Twitter employees when he buys the company. I mean, ones that actually will show up to work. And yes, stuff. Yeah. that's what I I I would think that these are people he's probably going to put into Twitter when you all rage quit or he fires you. Well, they had that that one video, that Project Veritas video, and I mean, sometimes you know people say that they're not real or whatever, but. If it was real, the Project Veritas video had the one person that was at Twitter talking about how, oh yeah, well, some people just take off for like weeks because they don't feel like it, you know, you know, and then they come back and go back to work. They, admit, they take a mental health, you know, month mental and then health. come back and all that crap. So, I mean, it's not like they're all like getting it done anyway. Yeah. So there are going to be a lot of changes. Now, either way, even if he walks away from the deal, I think Twitter is destroyed at this point. Like it's 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 credibility is shot, and that might have actually been the point. But when they're talking about how they've gone out of their way, and then they give them a bunch of data that they can't actually analyze, mm. that I mean, and it took them forever to give them that. Yeah, that does, and they, it, it, that that itself makes people question you. They want they want the deal to close because they want the money, but they also know, oh shit, if we tell them 
what Twitter actually looks like it is not worth any. So they're trying they're trying to stall too, I think, to be like, well, you know, um, hmm, yeah, Twitter's honestly worth forty four billion dollars. You know, we're honest. Just take, take our, our word for it. Wink, wink. Here's the data that you can't actually analyze because we said so. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's him dragging his feet. Him dragging his yeah, feet. Yeah, honest. That's what it is. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, at this point, I don't know if it's going to close or not. But uh, the damage is done. Twitter's credibility is completely shot. They've been dragged publicly. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, it's it's interesting to watch. Uh, a lot of things that a lot of people have wondered for years coming and, to light. And I'm sure he's not going to pay that full amount of money. He's not because going to. Because even, even without all this, in the time they've stalled, they even agreed to let him buy it, it's been devalued significantly. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. So run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>